I did some modifications to this Impress high velocity cooler and I took the metal blade off and put on the plastic blade, a black plastic blade. You can see it. It's black. It looks make it look vintage somewhat. It's got a black plastic blade. It's deep pitch. You can see it from the side. It is deep pitch. There you go. And if I turn the light off, you can see it better. There you go. Now you can see it better. It now blows way more air than it would have had this metal blade still been on there. And I'm going to demonstrate. The plastic blade comes off this garbage fan I had right here. The wind stream one. The one where the air was um, restricted. So I just pulled it apart and pretty much took the blade out of that and put it in here. And I'm going to take this one and see if it actually work on that and see what difference does it make. But most likely I'm just going to pry it out and uh, toss that unit in the garbage and then this will be it right here. So... Um, let's see what we got and uh, let's test it out. We'll start off with low. It moves a crap load of air. A ton of air. This thing is super powerful. I'm just giving it oil too. I actually use this one right here. I didn't use three and one or a zoom spout. I used this one right here. Liquid, liquid bearings is the one I used. All right, let's get it up to uh, medium. Very powerful. Very well balanced. The blade is extremely well balanced. And now high, super loud on high, very powerful. Spin down time is long. Medium, low, and then spin down. And check out the spin down. Super long spin down. Pretty decent. Now, the blade is pretty darn thick. It's very rare these days on any plastic blade fan, but... It is very thick and somewhat uh, heavy, but not that heavy. It gets right up to speed, even on low. So it obviously it's not that heavy if it gets right up to speed. And there we go. My all new Impress with um, switching out the blade. Am I going to let it stay like this? I know what y'all asking. And the answer is yes, I am going to let it stay like this. Am I going to put the metal blade back in here? No, I am not. But I will be holding on to the metal blade as a secondary blade or a spare. This is it now. It's one of a kind. Don't go looking on Amazon or eBay or anywhere for a fan like this with a plastic blade. It ain't going to happen. But you can do yours like that. Just pull off the metal blade, get one of your plastic bladed fans that have the same size blade, 9 inch. Put it in there and there you go. And you can have the same thing. Alright, so I'm going to use this a lot. Super easy to clean. It's only held together by two screws. The other two holes are available. If I wanted to put more screws, which is, that's not going to happen because when it gets dirty, which it will, because you know black picks up dust very easily and it's very powerful, it'll be time to clean it. All right. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. More fan videos will come soon. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Have a blessed summer.
God bless you and gone. My all new Empress. Very unique.